What are some of the mindset mistakes people make about abundance? Well, in this video, we are going to look at abundance mindset mistakes to avoid. I'm your instructor, Louise Ann Maurice, and I thank you for joining me today. This video, we're going to listen to a real world case study and then apply my evidence finding framework, discover key concepts in humanistic psychology, and then apply. I'm going to walk you through and guide you how to do that, and then develop changes in mindset techniques as well as create client specific abundance mindset coaching questions. Your clients can be yourself, your coaching or consulting clients, as well as your work teams if you're a manager or an executive. Now, as a quick reminder, let's look at the five part framework case study focus, what I want you to focus on as I'm sharing the details. When people have this mindset, how does it show up? We're going to be listening to our case study, and I want you to follow these five steps. I want you to listen to the details of the case study. What is their attitude? What is their point of view or perspective? What language are they using? Did you recognize this person, or do you recognize this person? Let's listen in. You recently attended a symposium to learn more about how to cultivate an abundance mindset. The focus of the symposium gave you strategies that you can use with your clients or work teams. Although you have tried these abundance mindset strategies yourself and they didn't work for you, you now have other people to practice on. A week later, you ask your clients or work team if they notice any difference in their mindset. Well, what you expected was confirmed by this comment. You were right. I got distracted because these strategies don't work just like you said they wouldn't. Now, I know it's not me who is incompetent, but the person who taught you these abundance mindset strategies is obviously not good enough to do anything else. These symposium events target people who don't have. Well, the result, you feel good because you now have consensus and don't feel so alone on the topic. And it just confirmed you were right. Abundance mindset strategies don't work. Could you relate to that case study? Well, this is where always being curious and always keeping in mind, oh, have I ever had that in my life before? And that's where sometimes we hold back. Oh, well, yeah, I do. And oh, I don't. Well, curiosity and caution. Well, let's bridge the gap. And after listening to that case study, what evidence were you able to find as far as their attitude, their point of view, the language? What does their language tell you about their mindset and any resistance that they may have? And then who is the person that you found? Now, I want you to keep your responses in mind as I go through this with you and just share some insight. Let's move through the five parts of the evidence finding framework. And as you were the first part listening with curiosity to that case study, what were some things that jumped out at you? I mean, probably the fact that expectations are set. And when you set expectations, other people uh, take that in. So always be careful. Now, when we're listening to the person. It could have been a client or a colleague or someone on the team at work. What was their attitude like? And how were they connecting with those abundance mindset strategies? Yeah, their attitude was, well, I'm not incompetent. 
which when anyone says that, that truly means that deep down inside, that's the way that they are feeling. So you always want to be aware and listening to people, but understanding that part number three, their point of view or perspective is it points to other people, not good enough because that's how they actually see themselves. But that point of view or perspective, remember, is being set up with the expectations that abundance mindset strategies don't work. But also, it could be that if you find abundant strategies do work, they might be seeing it in a different way based on their point of view. So always be aware of that. Now, their language. What language did they use? What did you write down? In the language, they were distracted, targeted, not good enough, incompetent. And when you understand that people will put up those defenses and the defense mechanism, not just in their actions, but their beliefs, their attitudes, but also it comes out in the language. Now, did you recognize that person? Sometimes when you are working with a client or even you might see that in yourself, they're not motivated. They're justifying not following through and they're looking at it as a consensus. So that might be someone that it could be yourself or someone that you're working with. So you want to make sure that you're always aware of that. But sometimes it's that misunderstanding of that word abundance. And when you have that connected with mindset, it definitely uh, comes into play. So where does this all stem from? Where does the misunderstanding start? Well, it starts at the beginning. The meaning that people give to that word abundance and everything that is linked to it. And this is where people will have that disconnect. So you might be looking at that case study with a, a point of view from the meaning that you give abundance and someone else might be looking at it in a completely different way. And when we bridge the gap, we do that by looking at simple psychology. We're now at the Wikipedia site for humanistic psychology, and I won't go through and bore you and read all of this. However, it is important that you do because humanistic psychology helps the client gain the belief that all people are inherently good. And sometimes that block, the abundance mindset blocks happen because deep down inside they don't feel good enough and they feel incompetent. So when we use this holistic approach that allows people to sense that inherently deep down inside I am good enough and what I have done, all of the experiences in life are here to guide me toward that a broader understanding or perspective. But when you are developing an approach to get them to change and see that, as well as the coaching questions, and if you're a consultant or you work with a team at work, if you're that team lead, then you want to do it in a way that you don't sound like you're being a counselor or a therapist. Remember, we want to empower people. So we want to scroll down to the counseling, don't be put off by the counseling and therapy, but yes, it's just to be able to see the approaches. And Abraham Maslow with this hierarchy of needs, obviously it's moving people up this hierarchy. And one thing that allows you to do that without telling people what to do is that empathy. When you come from that place of being empathetic, then you are seeing the, eye, seeing the world through the eyes of the client, the eyes of the people that you work with. Because that frame of reference, we talked about it in the evidence finding framework, their point of view or perception, you have to be able to understand it. And you can't tell people, well, you are this way because if there are any defenses 
in the case study, we heard that if there are defenses, all of a sudden the wall goes up around them. So it's about moving them toward an unconditional positive regard for themselves. And those coaching questions that you can use will stem from that. And it will be able to point them in a direction that supports them. Remember, I've got lots of coaching questions for you. Toward the end of the vi video, I'll share with you where to find the PDF document that accompanies this video. But on my website, I have a lots of coaching questions that you could also use. But remember, using humanistic psychology will guide you and moving people toward that ideal self, but helping them to see what's abundant and exceptional with them right now. That is truly the benefit. Let's do a quick recap of what you've learned in this mini tutorial. For Abundance Mindset, you learned a real world case study and how misunderstanding Abundance Mindset and the tools and techniques will backfire on you. But then we follow that evidence finding framework so that you can understand the misunderstanding and then humanistic psychology to develop mindset techniques as well as coaching questions that you can use very client specific. Now, remember to visit my website, louiseannemaurice.com. Click on free, then empowered mindset and then locate the Abundance Mindset PDF document to download. It's free, no email address is required. It's just a token of appreciation because I know how valuable your time is and I want to thank you for spending it with me. And here's just a quick reminder of how you can subscribe so that you don't miss any of the Empowered Mindset series.